Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, we're gonna look at using tens frames in the classroom. I'm gonna go over an example lesson that you could use with your students to introduce tens frames. We'll start with a math whole group time that will introduce tens frames and just build on what they already know from using their five frames. We have engaging math centers that will allow them to have hands-on opportunities with using their tens frames. And then we have small group time that they will come to you and engage in those meaningful conversations and really highlight what they're noticing about tense frames and how they can be helpful to them. Then we'll come back together again at the end and talk about what they know about tense frames and build that anchor chart so we can revisit it throughout the school year. I'm gonna go ahead, get started with our whole group time, get those materials prepped, and we can start learning about using our tense frames. For your math whole group, start with that essential question. How can tools help us count? We go to our math buddy, Tiger Tools. He tells us we wanna to use tools to help us count strategically and efficiently. We've been using our fives frame to help us count. How is this helpful? And just call on students for different responses. It's helpful because it helps us stay organized. All of our counters are lined up. Or I can count quickly because I know if it's full, there are five. Or if one's missing, it's four and just continue that conversation of how this frame helps us stay organized and count efficiently. When I add another fives frame, what do you notice about this tool? And they might say, I notice there are two fives frames or I notice there are 10 dots and then talk to them about, well, this is actually a different tool. When I combine two fives frames, it's called a tens frame. Why is it called a tens frame? And they might say, because there are 10 spots or there are 10 dots and show them how when they're together, it makes a tens frame. Well, let's count to make sure there are 10 spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's a tens frame, there are 10 spots. And then we go through and we do kind of like a quick image style, but I'm gonna leave it so they can see all the arrangements. How many are on this arrangement on our tens frame? They can count each of them or they can quickly see that five and one more and have them come up to the board and build that arrangement on the tens frame just to get them up counting and seeing how they match. Who could come up to build the matching arrangement on our tens frame? And call on a student to come up and you can count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does it match? and just go through that whole conversation of, yes, it matches because there are five up top, one at the bottom. Or if I count them one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, they both stop at six, so there are six there. And you can keep going, showing them the different images and having students come up to build those arrangements on the board. When we go out to our math centers, our job is to use our tens frames in different ways just to reinforce to them that we're using a tense frame and it's meaningful practice for them to do. When you come to me during small groups, we're gonna be using our tense frames and talking about how we know how many we're building or how this tool helps us count efficiently. And then once we come back together, we'll fill in an anchor chart. So we'll stop right here for whole group. I'll get my math centers ready and we can go through how to use them. Math center one is roll and build. It is the tense frame die. They can play with partners or just one student at a time. You roll, count how many, five, six, seven, eight, build the matching number, double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then roll the next one, count how many, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll just keep rolling and building the matching arrangement on the tense frame. Math center two is math around the room. You'll have these cards. I do a little hole punch in the middle and hang it with a 3M hook so they can stay in the same place and it's easy to put them up and down. So they wanna find the card, count how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On their recording sheet, they wanna find the matching picture. So it's a marker. Write the number, nine, and then draw in nine on the tense frame. Then you go around to look for the next arrangement card. It's the glue, find glue on the sheet. Write in the numeral one, draw in the arrangement. So you wanna continue until you have filled in your whole recording sheet with all the picture cards around the room. Math Center three are these count, build, trace cards. So you'll count 
how many bears, one, two, three, four, five, six. Build the matching set on the tens frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can go back, double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you wanna trace the matching number. You can clear off your board and pick the next card. Count how many. One, two, three, four, five. Build the matching set. One, two, three, four, five. Trace the matching number. And you can continue until you finished all the cards. Math center number four is spin and build. The spinners are these tens frames and the spin and build map have the number that we wanna match it to. So you wanna spin, land it on three. You wanna build that many with the cubes. One, two, three, and stack it on top of the matching number. Spin again, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Find the match. And you want to continue spinning and building until the mat is covered. For our small group materials, we have our partner game that we'll play at the end. The foam tens frames, these are the double-sided counter ones, and larger modeling cards. To start off, just pass out the foam tens frames as a quick warm-up, tell them a number, and they will build it on their tens frame. So you might start off by saying, show me seven. And they might go like this, five, six, seven. Some students might have it a little more spaced out. This is a time for you to just observe how they're using the tens frame and how they're building their numbers. Once you've done this a few times, go ahead, show the model card. How many do you see? Some of them might say, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They might have to count them all. Eight. Or some of them might say, I know two are missing, so there's eight. Or there's five up top, five, six, seven, eight. Once you've had a few students answer, go ahead and tell them, build it. Look around, check them, make sure that their, their model matches the card. Show the next one and you do the same thing. How many do you see? I see four. How do you know? This is a fives frame and there's one missing, so there's four. Or I start at one, two, three, four and you're just going around hearing those different answers. Build it. And you'll continue until you've finished all the cards or they have the understanding of how many they see and building the matching arrangement. They get some extra practice with a partner by doing the same activity. One student will hold up the card, the other student will be building it, and the person with the card is going to double check that they did it the right way. I copy each of the cards just on different colors so that the sets don't get mixed up. So this is a great way for them to practice what we just did during small group with their partner and then this could be your math center the following day. Once you're finished with your math centers and your math small group, you'll come back together on the carpet to revisit that essential question. How can tools help us count? And specifically ask them, how do tens frames help us count? And they might say things like, it helped us stay organized. It helped us know how many right away. If it was full, we know that it was 10. Or we use what we know about our fives frame. There are five at the top and one more, that's five, six. So we wanna capture that thinking in an anchor chart. I make it simple so that we can keep going back to it. At the top, we have our 10 empty boxes because we know tens frames have 10 spaces. On the bottom, we're capturing that connection with our fives frame. There are five at the top. Five at the bottom, we know that is 10. And you can really go through and talk about how we can count on from five at the top to more five, six, seven, five, six. Just really building those connections with them from their fives frame to their tens frame. And then we're gonna build the connection of our tens frame to a double tens frame to build 20 or to build our team numbers of 10 and some more. If this was something that was helpful to you, make sure you like it so I can make more videos similar to this. I will link the activities and the materials I use today in the description below. So check there for any links that you might need and make sure to stay tuned for more videos of making the most of our math block.